are we really going to have a situation where Leo Messi is going to play a sixth World Cup and I we say an unprecedented ish back to back World Cup dubs? Skitty, 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 we're here, we're here, we're here, we're live, we're live, we're live. Let me just hit that readjustment a bit. There we, there we go. So, um, look, Messi. Let's just look at if if you have these quotes. Let's look, look, look at if you have these quotes. Open this piece. Um, so, what your boy says? The end is near, and I'm enjoying and valuing every moment as maximum as possible. Adina and Barcelona are my home. Today, I'm also in a place where I feel very happy in a new stage in my life. So the end is near. So from that quote, you say to yourself, that, okay, long, it's been a long career, arguably one of the greatest sporting careers that we've ever seen. A redefinition of consistency, which I'm going to build upon afterwards. But I think he knows that, bro. I can just see that everything that has a beginning has an end. Nothing lasts forever. Literally, nothing lasts forever. And he just knows that, yes, that end is coming very soon. But when it comes and when it arrives, that's the issue. And that is the thing of, like, when does this, when does this end actually arrive for myself? Um, but this is, this is where it gets interesting. Le Messi on playing a World Cup in 2026. Well, everything happens for a reason in life. Now I'm just trying to live day by day. Now I feel very good. When that period comes, we'll see. I don't want to say anything. I'm enjoying everything day by day. So I don't know about you, but this seems to hint that <clears throat> he's not ruling out the World Cup. That that World Cup in 2026 is not ruled out. And there's never been a player in history who's played six World Cups. Which is insane. So basically... Most players give you three World Cups. Most. And three World Cups, that, that's a lot. Very few do four. Five is six. Because remember, you have to think about it. We've still not gone the whole two-year thing. This is every four years. And <clears throat> you, 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 you say to yourself that, what a way to, to go out. What a way to go out capping off an incredible, amazing career, the likes of which we've possibly never, ever seen by winning the most important trophy. And I think Messi, he even made the point that, oh, no, no, this was the trophy we always wanted. Because I knew that based on who I was, my legacy would be determined based on me winning the World Cup. Forget the UCLs. Forget the Ballon d'Ors. For guys who know ball, who know football, it's about that one damn trophy. It's about that one damn trophy, which is the World Cup. All the other ones, the, the, those are side chick trophies. We love the side chick trophies. Guys, side chicks are, are, are great. But what do you all want? We all want, want to be married. Being a bachelor is amazing, trust me. Being a bachelor is amazing, but at the end of the day, the main aim is to be a wife. The Walker trophy, that's, that's wifey. That's wifey. Respect wifey. Respect the side chicks. Respect the side chicks. They, they, they do come helpful when, when wifey acts crazy. But you must, wifey is always the number one, and that's why what the World Cup is. So... The thing with Messi is, he possibly could. He possibly, he really could. Because when you just look at how consistent he's been, no real major injuries, no real layoffs, and he's maintained such a standard. Now, obviously, the last Cup America, you saw that, you know, he had that injury in the final, and he really wasn't under his best. But when you've got that magic within you, there is always that magical moment that, bro, you never know, give him a free kick. That's key pass. That little piece of dribble, that piece of magic. Because this is what I've always said. The beauty about that World Cup dub was, that was not Messi at his best. Because that World Cup dub reminded me of R9 in O2. O2 R9, he was playing with a grenaded knee. His knee was grenaded. So that was nowhere the most unstoppable force we've ever seen in football, which was R9 pre-grenaded knee. So, but 
Even if that was not Messi at his footballing best, you saw hints of it, but it was about good. We're not here to be on. It's not about being fancy. It's about here, but delivering the trophy. It's about getting it done. And that is what it was about. Which is why I just wish we saw like that. Um, you see, I wish we saw this guy at a World Cup. That, that is, I feel, will be like once Messi rounds off his career and retires, the biggest regret is we never saw this version at a World Cup. Either this version or the version in 2018-19 at a World Cup. Because you see, for R9, for, for Ronaldo, we saw that in 98. And he was so threatening, he had to be, be poisoned in the final. Because I know, because I know, no, 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 we can't allow the 21 year old. So I wish what we saw R9 do in 90s, we saw Messi do at, at a World Cup. Because again, that last World Cup, we saw hints, but it wasn't this, it wasn't this alien. Like, I wanted to see this freak of nature at a World Cup where this guy, he just, he's ripping up the entire tournament completely. And obviously, remember, which is why I say it's like, Good and bad, where the bad is, we didn't, he's, he wasn't that messy. We knew either the 18 19 messy or the um, 91 goals a year messy. But the good was, it was about Gid. Let me just get it done. Similar to R9. Also, R9 wasn't that, 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 was, that, was, that, that, was, that was not the impossible protecting R9. Heck no. He, it, he was nowhere even close to being. The guy that we know, the Sean Lex, step overs, elasticals, the crazy, stupendous tactical moves. But for R9 in Oto and for Messi in 2022, it wasn't about that. It was about, no, we are here to complete a mission. We're here to join. We see, we're, we're, we're trying to join week that this thing. We're here. The mission is to win the World Cup by any means necessary. Shout out to your boy, Malcolm X, the GOAT. By any means necessary. Now, I've always said... I wish Messi scored the winning goal. Because I, because I, again, the, the only regrets I have is he wasn't at his footballing best, similar to Arnon in O2. And I wish he, it was the winning goal. Because then I was like, oh, no, 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 this is it. Because the beauty of Arnon in O2 was the winning goal in the semi final, both goals in the final. I said again, like, that was like, no, that, see, that, that's a horseman. Like, to do that, I was like, no, no winning goal in the semi final, both goals in the final. You can't say now, but my boy. <laughs> see, see, that, that's what you call goats. See, that's what you see. Goats, I don't want to, I want no help. Keep a get the F out of here. I don't want, I don't want to sniff and pounce it. I don't want to sniff and pounce it. We'll do it in 90. We'll do this in 90 minutes. I don't want to sniff 91. Okay. We don't want sniffing extra. We want sniffing 80. We want sniffing pounce. We'll do this in freaking 90 minutes. And I said, you know what? Give me that freaking boss. If I was so baby. Final, so baby, two G's over Kausa, baby. So just wish out for Messi, because hence why I said, like, Mbappe ruined the narrative. Because if it stayed, it, if it was 3-2, what a ridiculous story. <laughs> what, like, when I tell the story that, after everything he did, the back fault, he ended it with scoring the winning goal in the final, in extra time after it was two in a crazy match. Boom. But, the number, but that freaking bummer start had to come in, win the penalty, make it 3-3, negate the winning goal, and then Emi Martinez became the, the hero. So, is that that? But, guys, I'm telling you right now. I can't put it past Messi not making that, that, that next World Cup. Because my assumption, because that Copa America was like, yeah. You, you can see he ain't there. So, f look, forget what he's doing in America because it's, it's not elite. Like, the elite competition is when you now go into a World Cup, a Copa America, an AFCON, Europe and everything. And at Copa America, just saw, eh, these other guys who are playing at the top level, you could just see Messi has just lost a little bit of, of, of a step. But I think for Messi, he's like, my, if I feel good, my body feels good, what, Scaloni's not going to pick him? <laughs> so Scaloni would be like, well, you're a bit old. No, so if Messi is still active, he's the first name on the team sheet in 2026. Regardless of what his form is or where he's playing, if he is still fully functioning, he is the first name on that team sheet for 2026. So as much as I... Okay, half up, Sith. Sith, Dylan absolutely be a Sith. Half up, 
does Messi play at the 2026 World Cup? I think he does. Now, how much he plays, how much he features will be interesting. Whether he plays every single game or he's managed will be different. But I do see him as 2026. Then that's it. And I do believe maybe that could be where he bows out. Now, if I was advising him, I would be like, bro, like, bow out. It's over. Like, bow out. You've done what you need to do. You've achieved what you need to do. Once you retire, people can have... Because I have my arguments about who the GOAT is. And you know what? I would love arguments about that happens, you know. But once you retire, the medals are there. The trophies are there. The moments are there. The records are there. The achievements are there. And the World Cup is there. You have nothing more to prove. But what I believe, though, is this isn't about proving anything. For Messi, it's like I suffered so much. I received so many insults. They forced me into retirement. They said Barca was more important to me than Argentina. They said that I didn't really care about the country, knowing how my kids feel, my wife feels, that after all that suffering in 2014, 2015, 2016, now I'm in this scenario. I am, as I said in the course, I'm going to enjoy every moment. Every single moment of where this is a great Argentina team with some great up-and-coming young players. And looking at the field, this, I'll, I'll end it here. Looking, guys, looking at the field. Remember Brazil, 7-1 sacks is still suffering from them. We have Vinny still trying to get a, a few goals. Um, Germany, rebuild phase. Spain, not as good as their p team. England, they're allergic to winning trophies. Portugal, Cristiano tax. Um, France, Mbappe tax. How much are they going to miss Griezmann? When you look at the field, I didn't have a good chance of going back to back. Because for me, I'm like, but I'm like, I said, wait, I'm gone. I'm looking at France, England. I'm looking at Germany. I'm looking at Spain. I'm looking at Brazil. I'm looking at Colombia. I'm looking, okay, you want to throw in Ivory Coast? You want to throw in Senegal? You want to throw in Morocco? Based on the crew that Argentina have and the young players they have coming through, they can go back to back. So Messi's like, hang on. Wait a minute, have Fopi prick. <laughs> so you want to clown me over uh, cats and everything. Messi's like, hang on. If I go back to back, two World Cups in a row, a major feature, two World Cups in a row, now I'm saying what's up to that, to that, to that boy called Pele, <laughs> who's got three of them boys. Now people say technically, technically it's two, but it's three of them boys. And also, let's keep it a stack. There is a turtle. There is a turtle who already, who already had his at age 9, 19 already. So he's one and two. So he's trying to go two in, two in three. So Messi is like, hang on, hang on. This is a special crew. If I can just maintain my physical fitness and I can just add my experience and my ability to just to create that magical moment with what is a very talented crew with a coach who understands us, I can get a second WC. Doing that math, I think Messi is going to. I, th I, th I, th I think Messi is going to pull up to Trump. I think Messi is going to pull up to Trump. Oh, Kamalo depends who wins. I don't know who wins, but so I think I think I think your boy Messi could pull up to Trump country. But yeah, tell me guys, what should they do? Do you think we see Messi in twenty twenty six?